Check, check, one, two, one, two. It's your boy Crass, and we're about to go over a mixing tutorial I figured you might want to know about. So I'm going to change it up, do something a little bit different this time, and see if, if I can pull it off. But I'm going to start with a beat that is uh, basically <clears throat> untouched. No channels, no volume faders move, no um, anything done. Everything is on its default position. So we're going to take it from here and see if we can actually make some sense of it by mixing it. And in the process, you'll learn um, some things. And uh, maybe I even will include some ways to spice up your beat. So we'll we'll see if we get that far, but at, we'll at least do mixing. So right into it, first thing you want to do is turn off your limiter uh, in your on your master track <clears throat> in FL Studio. So go to your limiter and then go to replace and then click none. So take off the limiter because the limiter will basically, it, it smashes down your peaks but it will also <clears throat> give you like a false sense of uh, your ability to mix and it, it might get you used to a certain sound that's more um, compressed, condensed uh, for no reason out the gate and you want to be able to train your ears to be doper than that. So anyway, here's the beat. So as you hear, you, it's heavy on the leads, heavy on the strings, heavy on the melody can't really hear too much beat or groove so the first thing to do in mixing is to actually turn everything down but actually before we turn everything down we want to make sure everything is on its own channel so FL 12 makes it real simple to see what channel each um, sound or VST is on so we'll actually go and follow the protocol and make all the drums starting on the one being the 808 and we'll make this 7 and then we'll make we'll go up here to make this 8 9 10 so this is basically just assigning each sound its own channel so in a best case scenario for for mixing what you want to do is have organization so you have all your drum tracks organized from most important to least important. When I say most important, meaning the kick is number one. Uh, the kick is number one because it's the central element in the entire beat. This is hip hop. This is for the hip hop genre specifically. Uh, the f in this situation, I'm using two different kicks. So just for simplicity, we'll start with the 808, even though I only make it hit once. And then the other kick and then the snares. I don't even actually use this snare. I, I use this snare all the way down. So we can delete these, but um, I don't want to make it too complex. We'll keep them in for now, but just know that sounds are going to be on the first, second, fifth channel, and the seventh. So if we play it, and you also see tracking on the eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh. So if we play it, we'll see it reflected as follows. So once every channel has its own every sound has its own channel you want to turn everything down that's step one turn everything down um, turn everything down so I thought there was a way you can like select all uh, I thought I saw that in some in, uh, but anyway so what we'll do is start with insert number one turn everything down all the way and then what we're going to want to do is start with the most important sound first, which is the 808 kick, and then uh, bring that up gradually till we feel it's it's uh, right where we want it to sit. So I did from 1 to 15, but in actuality, all I needed to do 1 through 11. And we'll start by soloing number 1, which is the 808 kick. So we'll play it, and we'll gradually bring it up. Okay, so I'm looking at the I'm looking at the the meter as well as the ear. You know, you of course listen to it, but we're also looking at the meter, and we're going to probably stop right around there. Stop maybe right around nine just to start off, because that will leave us with some headroom to um, 
use in the final master. So leave yourself space. That's that's one of the keys in mixing. And then start from the bottom. So the next one will be this kick. That'll be number two. So solo that and bring it up slowly. This is more of an active kick. We'll leave that right there. Then we'll go to our snare, which is on a five. We'll leave it right there. We want our kick to be the one that's most powerful, but the snare, we want it to be right, right behind it as a rule of thumb. So like, I'm looking at, I'm listening and I'm also looking at the meters. That's what you want to uh, be able to do. So I'm going to go to the next snare, which is on, actually the hat, which is on seven. Okay, and then we're going to start with the first sound. And, and preferably you want to make your sound um, the most important one you want to start off first so make your sound right here and then bring that up slowly bring that up slowly and then you want your most prominent sound to be the one that leads everything and you want to tuck your other sounds under the, that lead sound so then go to nine same thing, just bring it up slow. Let your ear dictate. And then 10. So this is the sound we actually heard in the background that was just overpowering everything. And of course, you can imagine this is the one that's gonna most likely be the lowest or the lower, one of the lower sounds since we don't want it to overpower the beat. Leave that right there and then go to 11. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right here almost because this is almost like one of the most fundamental and most important aspects of mixing in itself is getting the levels right, getting the balance right. So others, some other quick things that we can do uh, to accentuate and enhance our mix is like, say for instance, we just did this one, this sound right here. This was the last sound we brought up to a level. Something that we can do to ensure that of the clarity is to insert a per, uh, parametric EQ too, and then like carve away what's not needed. So the way I do it is you bring down the one, the number one, and then you see that this dropped right here. And then you click right here and you turn it all the way till it's those four squares. So it's gonna give you kind of like a shelving uh, effect. So you can move it all the way across. And then do you see how you're scooping out this section? Everything like right here is the part you're scooping out so you're actually leaving room for the kick so it's all about scooping out the parts that we don't need and this gives you a good visual indication of what part is being represented in the sound um, and excuse my vocabulary I know I'm not using the best words to describe stuff but just bear with me they'll get better scoop basically what we don't need out until it actually will like change the sound and then back off a little bit if you hear like too much of the sound itself being changed so right here just in doing that we scooped off all of this and we scooped out all that that allows us to have clarity more clarity in each instrument so we want to do it in this one too for instance just to for example purposes you go over to this insert 10 and you go to parametric eq again you drop the one Go up here, shelve it, and then move it. Uh oh, that's the I did it on the two. You move it forward until it scoops out the sound. And right here, it's going all the way to the top, so we might not even really want to do it that much, if at all. So you might want to just like leave it right there. 
but just for you know example purposes so you would do that to each one of these sounds and then uh, that will give you clarity too but what I wanted to stress in this tutorial basically is the, is the importance of leveling leveling your sounds correctly is like 90% and ask different engineers they'll tell you that's 90% of the job and everything else from that point on is just cleaning up and EQ in the mix so hopefully you get a lot of value from this go ahead and like comment and subscribe uh, if, if this did if this gave you value and give me some ideas on um, what other videos you want to see and if you want a more in-depth uh, training for mixing and making beats in general go ahead and get my course my training course it's great it's very in-depth it's gonna help you and uh, looking forward to helping you a lot more alright until next time